Part of the Biltmore renovation here, the space that we're walking up into now was the old ballroom for the Biltmore Hotel. Uh, we started in this space about eight months ago. Uh, completely demolished everything with the exception to some of the old historic plaster items, some of the old historic millwork that you can see that's up here around the crown molding. As we started out, part of the SHPO requirements were that we had to recreate the old plaster ceilings here. Uh, so through a lot of ingenuity and design work with the architectural firm, um, we came up with this new coffered ceiling look. Also, what you're seeing here on the floors is the old original marble flooring that was here when they built the Biltmore Hotel. Uh, as you can see, we're right now we're in the process of refurbishing these marble floors back to their original condition. Uh, this space now is going to be transformed into the resident lobby. Um, what we have going on behind us here are the management's new offices. Uh, so the management office, the, the new reception office, those will all be located here up on the second floor. This old staircase here was part of the old staircase that used to take them up to the fourth floor. The fourth floor was where they had some of their office areas when this was a hotel, functioning hotel, also where they had some separate individual party rooms. This is what is becoming now St. Mary's Clinic office and their headquarters here in Biltmore. Um, also located is where the amenity spaces are for the residents. The space that we're, what we're calling our non-critical area, this is the second phase of the second floor. Um, when we're finished here, this will be the new resident um, lounge and also resident community room. And as we talked about when we first came up the stairs, uh, this is going to be St. Mary's new um, headquarters here in the Biltmore. This space we built out to incorporate a uh, new nurses reception area and then two individual offices in the back for their staff. On this far end, uh, one of the new features that wasn't here um, when they were up on the fourth floor is there's two separate individual clinics for when they bring in specialists to come to see the residents here at the property. So St. Mary Development has actually been in Biltmore Tower since January of 2014 under a previous owner. We just provided the social service to help our residents age with dignity and age in place instead of going into long-term care. When we had the opportunity to purchase it with Related, we jumped on the opportunity to be able to provide the residents with a historical rehab to renovate the apartments, gives them um, fitness center, community space, clinic space so we can bring in providers rather than um, them going out to try to get the services that they need. I love these people. I was their social service coordinator. Like they're great folks that just need an opportunity. As they live out their years, they don't deserve to live in a place that they can't be proud of and invite their family over. So the opportunity to really rework the building and give them this new space that they can proudly bring their grandkids over to is a, a great opportunity and I'm proud to be part of it.